Mountaineering boots are designed to have crampons attached to them for travel on snow and ice. They have very sturdy soles with little to no flex. Single mountaineering boots like these are commonly leather or composite boots, which are made for trekking through the mountains in moderate to cold temperatures. These boots have no inner liner. Because of that, they're not ideal for overnight trips because you can't dry those liners out in your sleeping bag without sleeping with the entire boot, which is not terribly comfortable. These boots are insulated and are built much burlier than your normal backpacking boots. They're designed for rough travel, and because of that, they're fairly heavy. They may have a front and a rear welt, or a rear welt only, to make them compatible with the crampons. Welts are the part of boots that at the toe and heel, which are actually used for attaching the crampons. Think of your crampons you have if you are boot shopping. If you're going to be using step-in crampons, you need both front and rear welts. If you're using hybrid crampons, you definitely need a rear welt. If you plan on doing rock climbing in the boots, it may be preferable to get a single boot with only a rear welt because your toes are then going to be closer to the front of the boot to make them more climbing appropriate. Double boots are designed with a removable inner liner. The outer material can be leather, plastic, composite, or a combination. These boots are designed for multi-day and cold weather climbing and are suitable for all but the most extreme cold conditions. When multi-day climbing, the liners can be removed and dried out overnight in your sleeping bag. These boots normally have front and rear welts and can accept all types of crampons. High altitude boots, similar to this one, are designed for the highest peaks and the worst conditions in extreme altitudes. They often feature a built-in gaiter, which keeps out the snow, and they're very, very warm. These boots are expensive, however, and they're not very versatile, but if you are going to be at high altitudes, they're what you need. Double and single mountaineering boots can be used for ice climbing, but there are also ice climbing specific boots. Again, these would function all right in that capacity. They often have a built-in inner liner, which will lace up to hold down the climber's heel into the boot. The outer lacing system should also be designed to help lock down the heel. These boots are not designed to be quite as warm and will have a reduced size and weight, which are both benefits for vertical climbing. These boots are going to also allow the climber better ankle flex for more technical moves, a great benefit if you're going to be doing mixed climbing. Ice climbing boots are able to accept step-in crampons.